What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Ego Forge Academy channel. Today I want to talk to you a bit about the seed bomb or the, the seeds cocktail as we call it. What that is is a a bunch of seeds of tree seeds that we mix together to plant in our agroforestry systems. Now Dario Piazza um, commented in one of the videos, one of the previous videos, and he asked us to explain a bit more about the principles behind it, how to use it, you know, how how to compose this thing that we call muvuca in Portuguese, or a seed balm, or a a seed cocktail, as we call it sometimes. So let me find a nice spot here so that we can take a look into a place where we've got all that mix of seeds going on, mix of trees. So check it out. All right, Dario, are you Italian, mate? Your name sounds a bit Italian. Um, so as you can see here, we've got lots of young um, seedlings growing. Uh, these were all planted, you know, we mixed a bunch of seeds together and we planted them in specific spots. So let's see what we've got here. We've got papaya, we've got cotton. Cotton already has to be cut back actually because it's already run its cycle. You can see it looks a bit old and it's starting to, to, to have an, a negative impact on the growth of the other trees. So papaya, cotton, we've got leucaena here, cashew, this is Gonzalo Alves, um, also known as Tiger Wood. Um, Gonzalo Alves, and here we've got São João, which is a species of, of Senna. So here's what happens. Um, there are some trees, some species of plants that they are the most important to us. And especially when we're talking about... Um, agroforestry systems in a commercial with a, with a commercial intent we really need to have you know one two species which will be our main crops these are the ones that are going to um, give us the income right these are the ones that we're going to sell for me in this system here specifically i've actually got four but two of them are for the first two three years and two of them are for the future so the, the 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 first ones are banana and pineapples you can see i've got bananas every two meters and then i've got the pineapples can you see the pineapple i'm going to show you the pineapples there you go pineapples all around pineapples all around and then for the future i've got prickly um castor sorry i've got a sugar apple and cashew right so these are my main crops so these plants i really need to have them in the proper density right they I, there cannot be any fails i cannot have holes of these plants in the middle of the system i can't have um, a lack of banana plants a lack of pineapples i really need to have full density so these plants when i plant them either by seed or by seedling i always make sure that i have the right spacing if i plant them by seedling I'm going to put them in the final spacing. So, for example, banana plants, in my place, I do them 480 meters between rows and 2 meters between plants. Prickly pear, I do rows of prickly pear every 2.4 meters, and I plant 7 seeds per meter at least. My goal is to have one plant every 2 to 3 meters. Um, in the row and then each row 2.4 meters apart um so right these are the my most precious plants now what i put in the cocktail of seeds is all the rest all other plants that i'd like to have that i think they're beautiful that they're going to give me wood in the future you know 30 years from now, 40 years from now, or species that I that I know that are, are trees that grow well around my region that, that can grow and thrive in the conditions that exist here. Seeds that I, I have um, available with ease, you know, I can I can easily find them around here. So all of this I'm gonna put in the in the 
cocktail and the seed cocktail. So it's all the rest. It's all that's. It's not going to directly impact my production, but it will indirectly because these plants they're going to fill in the niches that my main crops do not. You know, in agroforestry, we need to fill up the most niches possible. What I mean by niche is the stage of succession that a plant occupies. So if is it an early cycle plant? Is it is it a, a, one of the first and faster growing plants or is it one of the, those climate species or, or somewhere in the middle? So this is the, 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 the succession stage that it occupies. And make sure you, you check out one of the princip- one of the videos of our course uh, where we talk about the succession of species and stratification of species, which is where which strata it occupies, right? which layer of the forest does it occupy? Because your main crops will probably not occupy all of these niches because the niche is actually a, a combination of the strata or the layer that this plant occupies and where it fits into the stages of succession. So make sure I'm going to put a card um, so that you, to, to link you to the video. So all of these plants that we put in the cocktail, and these can be random seeds that you, you, you manage to collect, they're going to fill up all those niches and then we, you, you can manage them in the future. So you can see that we, we really make our seed cocktail very dense so that we can choose from them later on, right? So this is basically the idea behind it, is to bring the diversity, it's to bring the, the security, the insurance that we will have all of the, the niches occupied. So that's basically the idea. And one more, another thing that is important to remember is that uh, besides my main crops, there are other plants that I will also plant more systematically, which are my main service plants. So in my case, I've got prickly pear and I've got this yellow acacia. So prickly pear, this is super important for me because it, it's what stores water in my system. So I plant them at a density of about um, 25,000 to 50,000 plants per hectare. You can see that they're all there with the pineapple, right? So this is a very important service plant for me. And then I've got this yellow acacia, uh, which grows really, really fast. And it's really good for pruning because it re sprouts so quickly. And so these plants, I make sure that I have them in a perfect spacing. The yellow acacia, I want them every meter on my row, um, row of trees. And the prickly pear, like I said, they're usually every 30 centimeters in the row in between pineapple and 1.2 meters apart, one row from the other. So I hope that clarified a bit the idea for you. Um, how the, 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 this seed balm or, or the cocktail of seeds, as we call it, serves to fill up the spaces, the gaps that could come up in a, your agroforestry system. It's, an, it's, a, it's a very cheap way to bring in lots of, of diversity into your system, right? Because you can just collect seeds, whatever you get, you know, whatever you can collect native species from your forests, fruit species, stuff that you don't even know if they're going to grow properly in your place, put it into the, the seed cocktail because it's cheap, it's free. So try it out, you know. There's a bunch of things that I plant here that I'm not sure they're gonna thrive. I don't know if they're gonna grow here, but I plant them anyway. You know, I've got the seed, I just throw it into the cocktail and if they sprout and if they grow, that's good for me. But the main crops, my main crops, the ones that cannot fail, these I am systematically planting and observing if they're growing well. And then if they don't, if by any chance, you know, after planting seven prickly pear seeds per meter, if I end up with a gap in my system, I'm going to have to produce a seedling and, and, and substitute, you know, put it in place to make sure that I don't have those gaps. So I hope that clarified 
the matter for you. If it didn't, let us know. Uh, we'll gladly explain it further. And make sure you subscribe. Click subscribe here to the channel and click the notification bell so you know when we're producing new videos. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. I'm going to finish this video with a, a stroll around the middle of the of the forest, the food jungle. There you go. Ooh, things are pretty green. That's good. Lots of photosynthesis going on, people. Yeah. Castor beans. Plant right? castor beans. Check out this baby over here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, cheers everyone. Thank you for watching and this is Felipe for the Agroforestry Academy signing out.